And now we have another finalist from India. Swasti is a medical app made to uplift user health and increase access to healthcare. It contains medicine reminder functionality and the ability to make an SOS call to a nearby ambulance. Get an appointment with a virtual doctor and more. Built with Flutter and Firebase, welcome the creators Bhavesh, Himanshu, Ishan and Kushal from Chitkara University in India. One in 10 patients in India die each day due to a delay in getting medical assistance, which is surprising because around 50,000 medical students graduate every year in India, which is the highest in the world. So we knew we had to do something. Introducing Swasti, the only health app you will ever need. To get started, simply sign in with the Google account, fill up a few fields and that's it, you're in. Firstly, we build a symptom-based disease recognition system where the users can type in the symptoms they are facing and get a broader sense of what disease they might be going through. To get a surety, we added a doctor consultation platform where the patients can directly schedule appointments and have a call with doctors from across the world right within the app. They can pay the fee easily using Google Pay. And all the appointments are listed within the app from where they can get down a video call with the doctor. After the appointment, the doctor can give you a prescription which you can access at any time. On the basis of feedback from doctors and patients, we added a medicine reminder. Whenever you take a medicine on time, you will be awarded with hard points, which you can access by swiping left from your home screen. If a user opts to anonymously share their data from the disease recognition system, it will show heat maps based on disease spread in user's locality and can notify the user in case of any risk. We have also integrated discussion forums for the community where people can share their thoughts and help those in need. Each time you help someone, you will be awarded with hard points. Lastly, in case of any emergency, a user can tap on the emergency button in our app and the nearest ambulance will be dispatched to user's location and along with that, the nearby medical volunteers will be notified. We really think this feature would help us save many lives. This project was made possible with the help of all these Google technologies. Oh, and you can also ask your Google Assistant for remedies. Here is a remedy you can try. Awesome. Hi, everyone. Good to see you. Hi, Victor. Great to Hi, see everyone. all of you. Hi. Great. So, Victor, do you want to introduce yourself? And I know that you have a couple questions for the team. Yes. Thanks, Erica. Hi, team. Hi, everyone. I'm Victor. I'm based out of the mountains of Colorado in the U.S., where I work remotely as an engineering and technical lead at the UNICEF Office of Innovation, where we look at technology innovation opportunities that exist at the intersection of multi-billion businesses, markets, and one billion person needs. And I only bring this up because this should definitely resonate with what you're building and your participation in the Google Solution Challenge. Now, I'm really impressed with what you have built, which is loaded with no shortage of functionality and features. We could easily call it hospital in a box, or rather the hospital inside your phone. Which brings me to my first question which is, given the variety of services that you integrate in your app and the work involved in setting the right partnerships for each, which one or two will you prioritize in the immediate future to maximize early adoption? Right, so every feature that you see in the app has been thoroughly thought before and made so that we can make our project product market fit. If I were to uh, list two features that would be the major attraction for early users, I would pick them on the basis of uh, usage and impact. So those two features, according to me, would be medicine reminder and doctor consultation. So the best part about Swasthe is that every feature complements the other, be it heat maps, discussion forms, or symptom-based disease uh, recognition. So this creates a uh, seamless user experience. Obviously, the ultimate goal of our app is to reduce the number of deaths due to lack of the first response in India. So to tackle that, we'll partner up with public and private hospitals to create a network of ambulances that will leverage our SOS feature further, thus making uh, Swasthe the best in the segment. Makes perfect sense, and I really like um, hearing that 
you're putting impact first and that's sort of your measure of, of, of success and, and deciding where, where to go. Um, let, me, let me switch gears and now for a more of a technical question. I'm curious to hear what parts of the Flutter platform made it easier for the app development process versus what parts of the platform didn't quite fit the needs of your app and you had to write some custom code for it. Uh, I would like to tackle that one. Uh, let me just begin by saying that we love Flutter. And just to give you a little context on why, uh, see, the, most of the folks in our team, uh, we come from an Android and web background. And I know that as engineers, we should not use words like magic. But the first time that I used hot reload in Flutter, that's exactly what it felt like, pure magic. Uh, usually on Android, you have to go through this whole gradual build process just to see, uh, see your code changes uh, reflect in the app. And uh, in Flutter, like it's crazy fast, like uh, give or take two or three seconds, that's it. Plus apart from that, of course, the cross-platform capabilities of Flutter, the ability to still, you can still write and work native code using method channels. And uh, of course the Dart language, personally for me, like it's it's kind of this perfect blend between the powerful, uh, between the power of C-sharp and, and still maintaining the flexibility of JavaScript and coming to some of the challenges that we faced in building Swasti, Himanshu has a lot more to add on to that. So over to you. Yeah, sure. So honestly speaking, all the requirements of Swasti were already met by Flutter. However, we faced some limitation while adding specific features to it, like, uh, like integrating it with Google Assistant action. We use intent filters for voice actions and method channels to ask for the data, but we cannot create our own voice action. So we created a separate Google Assistant app for Swasti itself. Another limitation was uh, how to create the heat maps. For this, we had to customize a particular plugin according to our use case, and it did our work. Uh, also, the GPA plugin was not released at that moment, so we had to rely on third-party payment gateway services that supports Google Pay. So these were some of the limitations that I can recall of right now. That's that's great to hear. I'm glad to hear that you've um, figured out all your, your way out through through this development phase. Um, very quickly, I'm really curious, Swasti. Really, I really like the name. It's like a hybrid of Hindu and English. Is there any cool like one minute line story that you can tell us behind the name? Yeah, so, it yeah. took us a couple of months to actually come up with a name. Like uh, initially, we've called it Project Code Red because like mm -hmm. red is the color for health, kind of that uh, plus mm -hmm. symbol. But uh, later on, like we wanted to, uh, because like this solution is focused on India, uh, our country, and we wanted to resemble that somehow in the name itself. So Swasti, like Swast uh, in Hindi, it means health. So we just combined that and added an adjective, like added a Y because it sounds cool. So that's how we came up with the name Swasti. I love it. Very neat. Back to you, Erica. Great. Yeah, I was also curious about the name. So thanks for, for sharing. So let's ask, let's bring in the audience question. We have a question from DKG. Thank you for asking this. So how effective have the app trials been? Sure, uh, yeah, we would love to tackle that. Okay, I would like to say like a product is of course only successful if the user chooses to use it. And that is why testing is one of the most crucial aspects of building any solution. And uh, to be very honest, like in these COVID times, it was a bit difficult for us to reach out to hospitals and other medical officers and patients. But still, we managed to uh, go out to this nearby uh, nursing home in Panchkula. It's a small town in India. And over there, we reached out to the staff there regarding the problems they were facing, uh, the medical staff and the inadequate uh, medical training opportunities that they receive while they are graduating, while they are studying. And along with that, we also asked a couple of patients about the problems they have to face on a day-to-day basis uh, to get medical system. And some of the things that we received were, and we also implemented were, like first of all, uh, patients don't, uh, normally uh, usually patients don't take medicines on time. And they uh, tend to forget that. And uh, some even hide pay, uh, medicines from their caretakers for some reason. So for that, we added, we integrated medicine reminder built into Swasti. And second, like most of the times, patients don't know uh, what type of doctor or specialist to consult for a specific disease. Like most of the times, uh, if uh, whenever you are going through any disease, you just uh, visit your local uh, physician and uh, clinical doctor. And uh, for that, we added a symptom-based disease information system. And uh, of course, in some rural areas, uh, there's uh, there's a shortage. Like there's uh, not that much, uh, and, and not a lot of good doctors available in all the regions. So that's why we added a 
doctor consultation feature also and these are all integrated within so like if you search for some diseases some symptoms on uh, symptom based disease recognition system uh, you get recommended hey this doctor might be good you can just book an appointment over there once you book an appointment then whatever prescription the doctor uh, gives you it's automatically added to your uh, medicine reminder and uh, you will get notified that's great i, I wanted yeah, to but, add something sure. in between uh, we successfully conducted the sos trial with the help of chandigarh police uh, where a person suffering from heart attack was to reach the hospital but uh, with the help of our app we notified the chandigarh police to sensitize the whole area and provide the green corridor to the patient to reach to the hospital soon so we were able to save their life and uh, that was the first sos trial and it was successfully made so it was a great token of appreciation for us as we were able to save a life with that so it encouraged us to make some more features and integrate into our app wow that that's great Thank you. And Victor, did you have any final thoughts? Yeah, that's awesome. Um I wish you the best of luck. I think you're you're doing a great job. And I uh, I wanted to build on Babesh last comment in that your your opening video starts with this um stats on preventable deaths. And I really looking forward to crossing paths again in a couple of years where you say, well, before Swat existed, this were the number of preventable deaths. Now we are here. And this is our work. So, keep it up. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, I would love to see that as well. We'll check back in in a couple of years. Join us for the demo day in the future. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing more about your project and to the audience vote for this team if you're your favorite team. Thanks so much everyone. Bye.